All right then my friends, so now we've pretty much finished the actual project. What I've done is gone ahead and created this sandbox.php page already. So a lot of the stuff going forward is gonna be in this sandbox.php page, but we might dip into these other files now and again as well. So anyway, ternary operators, what are they? Well, they're basically like an alternative to using an if statement, but it's much more concise the way we write it, it's neater. And that's not to say you should always use ternary operators over if statements. There are a time and a place to use them, and sometimes an if statement might work better. But let's look at an example. So first of all, I'm going to create a variable just to keep track of some kind of value. And we'll call this score and set it equal to 50 to begin with. Now, if we were to do an if check to see if the score was over a certain value, it would look something like this. If score is over 40, then we're going to do something. We'll echo high score. And if it's not, we'll do an else statement. And we'll just echo low score. Okay, so that's our little if statement right here. We're doing two things, aren't we, based on this evaluation. If it's true, we're doing this. If it's false, we're doing this. So let me just run this just to show you it works. You know it will do anyway, but let's go to sandbox.php and we can see high score. If we change this to like 20, it should be a low score, which it is. So they're the two different outcomes, right? Now, a ternary operator is similar in that we can have two different outcomes based on a certain condition, but instead of taking up four or five lines, it's gonna take up one line. So let me take this back to 50 to begin with, and let's do this ternary operator. So the way a ternary operator looks is that first of all, we have our condition, so score is greater than 40. So this bit is what we're evaluating, and that was in the if statement right there. So that comes first, then we have a question mark. So it's like asking a question, is the score over 40, question mark? And then we have two values. We have a value if this is true, and that is gonna be high score. And that was what we echoed out right here. And then we have a colon. And then after that, we have the second value, and that is the value if this is false. So it's gonna be low score, like that. And that's it, okay? So we're evaluating this if it's true, then we get this value, if it's false, we get this value. So it's pretty much the same as this. Now, we don't echo things out here, right? This ternary operator, it returns a value. So what we could say is val is equal to this, okay? And then we could echo val because whatever is returned here is gonna be either this or this and either this or this will be stored in this variable, dependent on this condition. So if it's true, then val is gonna to equal to this. If this is false, then val will be equal to this. So let's see if this works. I'm gonna save it, and currently we should get high score. So refresh, high score, works. Change this to 20, and we should get the other one, low score, perfect. So we don't always have to store it in a variable, we could just echo the result directly. We could say echo like that, okay? We just don't do it here like we would in an if statement. We're echoing these directly in the if statement. We don't do that here because this is returning a value. And that's basically the difference here. This isn't returning any kind of value, whereas this statement is, and we're just echoing the result. And I sometimes think this is a lot easier to write. It looks neater, especially when we're working with HTML templates. So down in the code, if I just comment this out, I just copied this then, by the way, if we do our PHP tags, now I want to output the result that we get based on this check. So I could say, if you know that condition was true, then output something and close those later on. But using a ternary operator, I just have it all on one line and I can echo this out instead. And we'll put this inside a P tag and we'll close that off at the end over here. And that's how simple it is, one line of code now. Instead of doing all of those open braces, close braces, etc., now we just have that one line of code and this still works, okay? We get that p tag. If we inspect, we can see it's in a p tag. So that's pretty nice, right? That is a ternary operator. 
we have our condition first of all, then the value to return if it's true and the value to return if it's false.